Hi all, this video will show you how to create a button and gallery that represents SharePoint document library. There will be a list of documents and a button that prompts user to choose a document. First, we will create a list of documents that display in Power Apps. This will directly reflect a document library in a SharePoint. Also, the user will be able to open and delete the document. Before start building in Power App, we will need to create a document library in a SharePoint site. I will use the one created when you create a SharePoint site. It's a document and should be in old SharePoint site. You can create a new one or use different document library if you want to. To test it out later, put two or three documents in place. Also, create a dummy list to the site if you don't have any. You need to connect the document library to the Power App. Click data icon on the left and search for SharePoint. Click the SharePoint connector and choose existing SharePoint connection. You may create a new connection by clicking add connection. Once you click the connection, you will see a list of SharePoint sites on the right side menu. Choose the document library that you want to display in the app and click connect at the bottom. Just on the Insert tab, click Gallery, Blank Vertical, connect the document library you just connected. To add labels in a gallery, click Edit Gallery icon on the left top corner of the gallery. You will see the selected box area has been changed and the icon is no longer visible. From Insert tab, click Label to add label. Change the text property of the label you just created from this item title to this item name. Let's make another label for author. Create another label and change text property to this item author dot display name. I'll change the label's fill color and gallery size so the user can distinguish each item a bit better. We will create a link so when the user selects an item, it opens up the items in a new tab. Select gallery in the app and change on select property from false to launch this item that link to the, uh, this item. When you click the item in display mode, it should open the file in a new tab. To enable user to delete specific file, we will create an icon that can be clicked in an app. Similar to the way we edit label, select gallery and click edit gallery icon. Add icon by clicking icon menu in insert tab and choose the icon you want to put as a delete button. I use trash icon for this demo. Move the icon a bit and change the own select property from select parents to remove documents this item. Change the name of the document library if you use other document library. Clicking this button in play mode will delete that item in SharePoint library. With the gallery in place, we will create a button that uploads a file to the SharePoint document library. We will need a flow to do this work as there is no way for Power Apps to upload directly. Before we create a button in Power Apps, we need to create a flow first. Navigate to Power Automate site and create a new flow by clicking Create button on the left menu and click Next, New, Instant, from blank. Name the flow as you wish and choose Power Apps as a trigger. Click New step and add Path JSON. Rename the, the action to Payload. For contents, choose Ask in Power Apps. Click Generate from Samples and put File name equals empty, file contents equals empty. Create another action and choose SharePoint create file. Choose site and document library. Choose file name from previous action. For the file contents, choose extension and type data URI to binary body payload file content. To get the hidden attachment, you need to create a form by clicking Forms, Edit, on the Insert tab and choose a SharePoint list as a data source. Connect the list if you don't have any. Now with that in place, copy the attachment control and put it outside of the form. 
fix some errors such as border color, items, tooltip, and display mode. You can delete the form now. Change the control and resize it as you wish. Let's get the attachments working. First, put a button and connect to the flow you created by clicking Power Automate on the Action tab. Make sure selected empty button. Choose the flow for unloading file and now the flow is connected to the file app. Delete the button you just created. To get the contents of the attachment, you need to create an image control by clicking Media, Image on the Insert tab. Change the image property from Image Control to first attachment control .attachments .bu. Also, change the visible property to false so not visible to user. Go to attachment control and select on add file, put dev attachment control, run json file name first self attachment dot name file contents image one image json format include binary data reset self lastly put a button with on select property to refresh documents there is a way to refresh the documents after the documents are attached but it requires change in flow so it's not done in this demo with that done it's finished you can add documents by clicking the attach file and it will unload to the SharePoint document library. Clicking the refresh button will show the newly added documents. Clicking the document will open it. Clicking the delete icon will delete the document. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions or answer the questions. Thanks.